More than a decade has passed since Gossip Girl concluded, yet discussions about it still persist. And the cast themselves give plenty of reasons why. How did Ed Westwick almost lose his career and status? How does Blake Lively react to her husband's sharp sense of humor? Making her shy now. Look at her, she's turning red. No. She's blushing. No, it ruined her. And why are actresses Leighton Meester and Taylor Momsen both seeking therapy? Let's delve into the current affairs of the world's foremost gossips. Blake Lively as Serena Vander Woodson. Her character was the most popular girl in school, always dressed in high-end fashion. Since the show, Lively's career has blossomed, as has her personal style, even though the actress doesn't claim to be a fashionista. I'm a really shy person, so when I have to do this sort of stuff, I have to be in character a little bit, or I would just, like, curl up. Um, and I really like wearing onesies in real life. Less than a year ago, she welcomed her fourth child with her best friend and husband. Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds have been a couple for 12 years, and fans absolutely adore them. We're lucky, you know, that's, that's amazing. In Hollywood years, that's like 145 years. Well, we like each other. It's a good foundation for any relationship. After all these years, they still seem to be in their honeymoon phase. Yet Lively and Reynolds' pranks on each other are truly something. There's, you know, it's like sort of like what my dad used to say, if you can't say anything nice, say something embarrassing. Ryan often posts funny pictures of Blake, and recently the actor posted a photo of himself in the gym, and at the end he captioned it, my Instagram boyfriend Blake Lively. Immediately, Lively shared this mirror selfie on her page and added, find yourself a better Instagram boyfriend than me, I'll wait. Because I know low-key capturing thirst content of your fine-ass husband is not photography, it's a public service. They're hilarious, aren't they? But is humor the secret to their happy marriage? He's my friend, first and foremost, still. You know, not just, not just in our history, but, but in uh, everyday life, he is my friend first, and that's, uh, I think that's the secret to, to happiness. At the same time, Blake hasn't forgotten about her career. Two years ago, she took on a role in the movie Lady Killer. Lively also made her directorial debut with Taylor Swift's I Bet You Think About Me music video. By the way, the two celebrities have been friends for years. Lively is also directing an adaptation of the novel Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley, and will star in the film adaptation of the novel It Ends With Us. On top of all that, Blake recently became an entrepreneur too. She launched Betty Buzz and Betty Boos, lemonades and sparkling cocktails named after her third daughter. Lively's Instagram is all about them. Because a Betty Buzz we don't test on animals. We test on men. And how's Blake's ex-boyfriend doing? Penn Badgley as Dan Humphrey. Their on-screen love spilled over into real life. From 2007 to 2010, these actors had a passionate affair, but awkwardly had to act out a wedding on the show when they were no longer a couple. Recently, though, Penn admitted that it was Lively who kept him away from bad habits, Blake didn't drink, and I think our relationship in some ways saved me from forcing myself to go down that road. Afterward, the actor was in a relationship with Zoe Kravitz for two years, and in 2017, he married singer Domino Kirk. We have two kids, we have two dogs, we have an apartment in New York City. I mean, you know, living the life. Meanwhile, Badgley continues to portray a serial killer in the popular Netflix series, You. But he made sure to get his wife's approval before filming sex scenes. Penn also talked with the show's directors to reduce the level of intimacy portrayed in the show. He even thought about leaving the project because of this issue. Ultimately, his character has become a favorite among fans, and the actor's TikTok videos are widely loved too. Penn joined the social network a few years ago. However, he quickly gained attention. His first 10 posts garnered a whopping 180 million views. I actually love to sing and I love to dance. Music is my first passion by far, but I do not like to mix them together. Together because usually that's a that's a musical. I don't like I don't like music. That's not your thing. Additionally, Badgley launched the podcast Pod Crush last year. On the show, guests share their middle school stories. Guests include Drew Barrymore, Conan O'Brien, Jenna Ortega, and fellow gossip girl actor, Taylor Momsen as Jenny Humphrey. While talking with Penn, she admitted how difficult it was for her to film the series. Taylor was only 13 years old and much younger than the rest of the cast. She wasn't ready for publicity at all. Suddenly, they're out, the paparazzi's outside your house, and they're following you, and they're following me taking my sister to school, and like, mm. just weird, you know, it was, it was weird. Momsen had almost no friends during that period, so she spent all her free time playing music. 
by myself a lot. Like I never, I didn't have my own clique. Like I didn't fit in with you guys. I didn't fit in with Connor's friends. I was younger than them. I was the new girl. I was Grinch girl. Yeah, I was whatever. Like I was sounds... always kind of in this, this weird isolated. So after Gossip Girl, she chose to step away from acting and dedicated herself to a rock star career. For years, Taylor has been the front woman of the Pretty Reckless. In 2021, they released their fourth album, Death by Rock and Roll, and made history as the first female group with five number one singles. However, amid this success, Taylor herself battled deep depression. The death of her idol Chris Cornell hit her very hard. Then her close friend Kato was killed in a car accident. I was like, everything I love is dead. What's the point? Taylor immersed herself in creating new music, and that's what saved her life. It seems like she is currently single. Momsen shares a home with her dog and attends therapy sessions. And she's not the only one going. Leighton Meester as Blair Waldorf. She's a mean girl only on the screen. In reality, this actress is very modest and even shy. She goes to a specialist for preventive care and to balance family and work. Like I see a therapist one or more times a week. That's been like a very consistent thing that I've been doing for over a decade. Leighton has two children, but she keeps them away from the public eye. She hasn't spoken publicly about her pregnancies, and her husband actor Adam Brody also maintains a private lifestyle. However, when out on the streets, this couple definitely doesn't go unnoticed. A lot of people are like, we, we love both of you. Can we take pictures with both of you? And <laughs> Next year will mark a decade since their wedding, which incidentally was also kept secret. Meester always prioritizes her family, but she doesn't overlook her work either. From 2018, the actress was in the ABC series Single Parents. Unfortunately, the show was canceled after two seasons. Last year, she made appearances in How I Met Your Father and starred in the thriller The Weekend Away. And this year, you may have seen Meester in another thriller, River Wild, and the Christmas comedy Xmas. In addition to acting, she also sings. Um, hopefully soon. I have a bunch of stuff recorded and written and recorded and ready to go. It's just sort of a matter of when I can release it and when I can make time for that. And how's her boyfriend from the show doing? Ed Westwick is Chuck Bass. This on-screen bad boy was both loved and hated by millions of girls. Milk two sugars, right? Thought so. After the show, unfortunately, the actor's name made headlines for a scandal. In 2017, Westwick faced sexual misconduct allegations from three women, Christina Cohen, Aurelie Wynn, and Rachel Eck. They claimed the incidents happened in 2014, but he denied these accusations. I have never forced myself in any manner on any woman. The court ultimately found Ed not guilty. Despite the legal outcome, the scandal led to the actor's scenes being redone without him for the film adaptation of Agatha Christie's novel, Ordeal by Innocence. Additionally, the second series of the TV show White Gold With Him was canceled. Westwick expressed disappointment with the BBC's actions at the time, but now he's back on track. Westwick recently starred in Netflix's Deep Fear. The movie became a top 10 hit. Ed is also the lead singer of For You, which released its first single, Tailspin, this year. The actor has over 10 million followers on his Instagram, and he's a real TikTok star. TikTok. Tell me you've watched Gossip Girl without actually telling me you've watched Gossip Girl. Westwick currently has numerous photos on his page with his sweetheart, Bollywood actress Amy Jackson. Ciao. They crossed paths at a race at Silverstone Circuit in 2021, and it was love at first sight. This year, Amy and her son moved to Ed's house near London. The actor doesn't hide his readiness to start a family, so we're looking forward to hearing about their engagement. Currently, Ed spends almost all of his time training. He's preparing for his next role in a movie about a boxer from the 1920s. Also, the actor wouldn't mind starring in Gossip Girl again alongside the entire cast. We all live in different countries, right? But, um, hey, let's get that uh, original uh, reboot or <laughs> something like that. I want to do a spin-off show. Seems like another heartthrob from the show is also cool with that idea. Chase Crawford as Nate Archibald. He still looks back on the filming with a warm sense of nostalgia, too. It was like college for us, you know, we kind of grew up together, so that was a very good experience. Although Chase had another big project after that, since 2018 he has portrayed Kevin Moskowitz in the TV series, Boys. So beautiful. What did you have to do to get into that character? Uh, just fit, fit into that tight wetsuit that takes <laughs> about 20 minutes to put on. Well, one more important detail here. Crawford puts in a lot of effort with his training. I actually hate being in the gym, so I try and get in and out as quickly as possible. He's also appeared in several thrillers, and in 2021, Chase got the lead role in the comedy Reunion alongside Nina Dobrev. As for his personal life, there isn't much going on. 
He has never been married and has no children. However, Chase enjoys spending time with his nieces. There's the young, there's the young oh my one. God. Middle one, that's Rivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How He's sweet. Cute. What do they call you? Uh, Uncle Chase. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the 38-year-old actor has had relationships with Carrie Underwood, Rochelle Goulding, and Rebecca Rittenhouse. Last year, he confirmed that he is still in search of his one and only. According to The Star, it's a tough dating market in Los Angeles. Mmm, probably especially if you're a celebrity. Anyway, we wish Chase the best of luck. And who is your favorite actor or actress from Gossip Girl? Let us know in the comments.